All right, so this is a linear approximation problem, and I want the linear approximation, so I want the equation that's going to approximate this f of x function at x equals 0. Okay, so we need a, a equation of a line, y equals mx plus b at 0 here. To, first thing you want to do is you want to find the m, so the slope. So to find the slope, you need to find the derivative first. So we're going to find the derivative of sine x, which is equal to cosine x. Okay, the slope at x equals 0 for this, would be just plugging in zero. So now you get cosine of zero, which is equal to one. So you know that your line is gonna be something like y equals, I should do L of x equals, it'll be L of x is equal to one x plus b, okay? Now you need to figure out what that b is. Well, we know the x is zero, so this is gonna be zero plus b, and you need to figure out what's the y when x equals 0. Well, when x equals 0, here's our y equation, right? f of x is just a fancy way of writing y. So plug in 0 to this, and you get 0. So you end up with b is equal to 0. So your final answer, your approximation, should be l of x is equal to x. Okay? This means that around 0, the sine function could be approximated using the L of x is equal to x, so y equals x. Now to kind of make this get cemented a little bit more, let me show you what this looks like as a graph. So we have the function sine x, okay, and then I'm going to make the approximation that I had is just x equal to x. Now watch what happens if I zoom in here, and I'm only zooming in around x equals 0. Okay, so if I zoom in here, you'll notice that around x equals 0, it's pretty much the same line, same values, right? Oops. Okay, you can see it kind of, I don't know, deviate, it starts to deviate here, it deviates a lot more here, but you can see around zero, it's pretty much exact, okay? Now, if you zoom in here, you'll see that it is, of course, not exact, but for all intents and purposes, anything that's around zero is going to be a pretty good approximation for sine. So, for example, if I said, find sine of 0.1, you might go, holy cow, how do I do that? Now, your calculator will do it but you wouldn't be able to do that. But if you use this linear approximation, you know that it's about 0.1. Okay, let's test it out. Ready? Check this out. What is f, whoops, what is f of 0 0.1? That's pretty close to 0 0.1. Look at that. That's pretty darn close, right? Now, if I, what about 0 0.2? This should be around 0 0.2, right? 1.98669, uh, right? Okay, pretty close. But as you get further and further away, let's just say I go from 0 to just straight up 1. Now, if you notice, that is pretty far off comparatively to 1, right? Compared to the other ones that were off by like three decimal places, right? Now, if you did something like 2, it's going to be astronomically off, right? Because the sine x can't get, obviously, over 1. But anything that's around 0, like say I did negative 0.1, it's pretty darn close to negative 0.1. Okay, so back in the day, these approximations is how people found values of, you know, that they couldn't necessarily solve for um, using, like, you know, again, the sign. Anything that was transcendental was kind of harder to find. Or if it's like x to the seventh power, that might be hard to find. Um, but if you do a linear approximation, it kind of just turns it all into algebra. Uh, linear, easy, um, linear is obviously way easier math to, to work with, so.